Hello, everyone. My name is Deb, and I'm so excited to be here with you guys today. This is our next teaching session. And guys, I have a really great little message for you today. But before I move forward, I just want to encourage you. I hope that you guys are enjoying these devotions in Lent. I'm telling you guys, I don't know about you, but I love Lent. Uh, we are non-denominational here at the Help Club for Moms, but we believe in focusing on Jesus for the 40 days prior to Resurrection Sunday so that when Resurrection Sunday comes, guys, you are ready. You have been studying the word of God and it is a blessing on Easter Sunday to go to church when you are ready. And so I just want to want to encourage you guys to keep going in your studies through the book of John. We're doing a Walking with John series and we're on Lent week four. And guys, I'm telling you, it is so good to read through the book of John. I love reading John because he was a, the, the disciple and he said it in his in the word, right? He said the disciple whom Jesus loved. And do you know what that means to me is that he understand the love of Christ. I don't know. Maybe he understood it more than any of the other disciples. He understand the love, understood the love of Jesus Christ. And he called himself the disciple that Jesus loved. And so I think that's pretty cool. And do you know that the word of God says that we need to pray to even understand how wide and long and high and deep the love of Christ is? Ask Jesus to show you his love. Ask him to help you to understand his love. It is, it will pay off for your life when you understand the love of Jesus. He loves you so much, so much. So I just, I'm so happy that we're going through that. And I wanted to highlight uh, on page 110 in our study this week, I wanted to highlight the mom tips under the loving your husband. Okay. Make sure you're doing these and listen to these. So two of these. Number one, for the wise woman loves her husband, write a couple of short notes to your husband this week, telling him things you love or appreciate about him. Put them in unexpected places like his lunch, the dashboard of his car, his sock drawer, etc. The next thing is super important. And we're going to talk about that briefly today. Encourage your children to write or draw about the things they love about their dad, why they love spending time with him and how he makes them happy. Hide their notes in your husband's work bag or tuck them in his gym clothes. Consider framing them for his desk at work to desk at work to encourage him over and over again. And, you know, there's so many things I love about that mom tip. And guys, um, <laughs> you know how sometimes as moms, we feel like we're not doing a good job. Well, there's a chance that your husband probably beats himself up and maybe doesn't tell you about it, but maybe he feels like he's not a great dad. And when he sees his children's love notes, it will encourage him and it will help him to be like, oh, OK, I can I can do this. I can I can be a good dad. My kids love me. You know, my wife loves me. I'm doing a great job. You know, when someone uh, is encouraged, they will be encouraged by your words, our words. Remember what the word of God says. The tongue has the power of life and death. And you want your tongue to speak, to write, all of that uh, with life. And you want to teach your kids how to do that. And then I wanted to tell you something that I have been thinking about a lot with uh, my children as we're talking about husbands today. We're going through Lent, but we still have mom tips that talk about husbands and children. And uh, I want to share something with you that I feel was instrumental in our home for our children being so close to their dad and uh, so respectful. But I'm telling you guys, this will yield fruit in your life. It's one of the it's one of the few things that you can put into place and you know God is going to bring you a huge increase. And that is respecting your husband, showing respect to your husband. So, guys, there's a reason God says in his word that we are to respect our husbands. Listen to the scripture. I'm using the amplified version. Ephesians 5 verse 33. However, let each man of you, without exception, love his wife. Okay, that's the that that's the guy. Okay, and uh, you can't control how your husband, uh, whether your husband loves you enough or whatever, or, or if you feel loved by your husband, you can't change your husband, but God can. So remember, guys, to pray for your husband, pray for your marriage. Okay, but you can control how you treat your husband. Right, you are in control of the way that you treat your husband. So it says right here. And the wife, let the wife see to it that she respects and reverences her husband. That's a big word. That she notices him, regards him, honors him, prefers him, venerates and esteems him. And that she defers to him, praises him and loves him uh, and admires him exceedingly. 
that's a lot. That's from the amplified version, but I really like it because it gives us examples of ways that we can respect our husband. Now, why on earth am I telling you this? Well, it's in the word, but I don't want you to only look at that scripture at face value and think, oh, I have to respect my husband. He's probably not even a man worthy of respect, but God says I have to do it. But guys, listen, listen to this. You are obeying God because you're going to receive a blessing. Okay. You may not feel like your husband is worthy of all your respect or, or doing those things, or you might be worried if you respect your husband, he's going to take advantage of you guys. If you respect your husband, God's going to take up for you. All right. When you obey God, I'm telling you guys, he's going to take up for you, but there's this other thing that's going to happen. When you respect your husband, when you are speak kindly about him to the children, when you talk on the phone and you don't let your children hear you venting about your husband, please don't do that guys. Don't let your children hear you venting. If you're going to pray with your prayer partner and you need to pray over your marriage, which I hope you do, just say some, just say the facts. You don't need to be throwing your husband under the bus. If you're having problems in your marriage, just say the facts and what you need prayer for, and then move on and pray with your friend, right? It's not a time for gossip. Prayer, prayer request time is not a time to gossip, but especially with your children within earshot of them, let them hear you saying good things about your man. Because what's going to happen is your children are going to respect your husband. My children, by the grace of God, and I know this is going to sound crazy, but they never talked back to their dad. They did me. Now, my man, my man is a man worthy of respect, too. OK, he's very honorable. My husband, uh, he's quiet, uh, but he commands respect and he doesn't do it through his actions. It's just because of his heart and how good he is uh, to, to our children and how much love that that he has for them. But he did lose it a lot when they were growing up. He was grouchy, all that stuff. But I still showed respect to my husband. Yes, I talked to my husband when there were there, there were things that needed to be talked about. Okay, guys, I always did. But I respected my husband in front of the children, and I did not fight in front of them with the hus with my husband. I mean, yes, yeah, sure, they overheard some things, I'm sure. But for the most part, I really respected my husband in front of them. And I praised my husband to my children. If my husband did something right, if my husband, I would say to my husband on Sunday mornings, thank you for taking us to church because I knew that there was a lot of guys that don't take their families to church, right? Your husband may not take you guys to church. Pray for God to change that. But your husband might, might take you guys to church and praise him in front of the children, right? Your husband might go to work. You might get to stay home or maybe your husband works really hard so you don't have to work as much or whatever it is. But Praise him to the children. Tell your children, say, look at your dad. He works so hard. You know, your dad loves you so much. Praise your children. Praise your husband in front of your kids. I promise you guys, if your children grow up and they learn how to respect your husband, they will respect their boss more. They will respect God more. You, you just really want to make sure that your children respect their dad. And if they're sassing off to your husband, you need to probably say something to your children. Guys, that is not okay way to talk to dad. How can you talk to dad? You need to talk to him in a nice way. You and your husband need to be united. You need to be together, united front so that your kids don't play one against the other. Okay. I know this is a big topic. There's hard things in marriages, but guys, like I've said a million times before, you have a weapon of prayer and the word of God that you can use when you are having trouble in your home. You can speak the word of God over your family. You can speak that how good it is when brothers and sisters dwell together in perfect unity, that there's unity in your home. You can ask God for help with unity. Ask God to bring his peace to your home. Ask God to bring the angels in your home. The angels of God carry out the work of the Lord. Pray and ask God. Your prayers move heaven and achieve unusual results. Do not give up on praying for your marriage or on your children's relationship with their dad or with you. Keep going, guys. Keep praying. Keep uh, doing things that would show respect to your husband. And the last thing I want to say is when my kids were little, we would go to the door when Randy came home and I we would sing and say, daddy's home, daddy's home, daddy's home. And the kids remember it. They loved it. And, you know, my daughter is very respectful to her husband. I watch her. It's really sweet. She's very respectful for to her husband. But I know that she learned at least part of it from me because I tried really hard to respect my husband. So let me pray for you guys. Jesus, I pray for my friend watching this video or listening on the podcast, Lord, that you will bless her relationship with her husband. If her husband is not worthy of her respect, help her to pray about that and to trust you 
But as far as it depends on her, let her respect her husband because you're telling her to do it and you're the one that's going to bless her. You're the one that's going to fight for her. So Lord, help her to respect her husband, show her new ways to do it, help her to stay faithful to her husband with her words to the children or to her friends. Don't let her be a gossip about her marriage problems. And God, I pray that you would encourage her and help her to walk with you and to know that you love her in Jesus name. Amen. Okay, guys, don't forget that every one of our devotions is on our podcast. So you want to listen to the podcast if you get behind in your studies. And there's also all kinds of special things that come out every week. You're not going to want to miss a thing. We love you. We're praying for you. If you have any prayer requests, email us at admin at helpclubformoms.com. We have a whole prayer team. We love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful uh, week. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.